Hi guys, welcome back to World of Tanks. Here we are with the today playing the Centurion Mark One, British Tier Eight medium tank. It's fully upgraded, so I'm featuring the 20 pounder gun Type A barrel, which is quite a decent gun, 7.5 rounds a minute. Average penetration of 226, 230 damage, pretty accurate, quite fast aiming time, decent reload. Tanks, an interesting one, it's not the fastest of medium tanks, and it, it, it's huge. I mean, compare this thing to, oh, let's see, let's compare it to the T29. The T29 is only fractionally bigger. Compare it to 110 is actually slightly smaller. So, it's a big old tank. Its frontal hull armor is garbage. Let's see that. Uh, 76 millimeters. Its turret armor, 152. That doesn't quite tell the whole story though. This up here, if I remember rightly, is only 51 millimeters thick, I think. Here is 152, on the edges there. This gunman, however, is incredibly troll. You can take shots on it that bounce, but there it is, down the middle here, and on this side, a hole behind it. So if you take hits dead in the centre from some guns, they will go straight through. So although this can bounce a lot of shots from the front on the turret, it will you shouldn't really rely on it because it will let them through, and the rest of the armour is garbage. But enough about that. This isn't a full tank review. This is just a quick look at it and then see how it plays. So let's hope we get a good matchmaker. Well that's quite nice. Tier 8 match. Alright map for a tank like this if I can get into a decent position. A few artillery on the enemy team. Not not overly worried there. No Burt's or Lefer for Fair for Fair for Fair for Fairs. Although we're massively over tiered to get a Lefer for Fair for Fair, so that's alright. So my plan here is to try and move into the Abbey. This thing has good gun depression, so I can poke ridges with it. I'll try and move into the Abbey, hope I don't meet the heavy tanks. Hopefully they'll go either on the east or the west flank. And let's just see what I can do. You see this tank is quick off the mark, as you'll see. Gets up to speed pretty quickly, but it does not have a great top speed. Although, saying that, that chaffy hasn't actually got past me yet. So, yeah, not too bad. I mean, it's only got a 40 km an hour top speed, but it easily reaches it on the flat, as you can see. And it does accelerate quite quickly when you start going, which is always useful. Shows you how accurate this gun can be. Even on a snapshot like that. I got spotted, but I'm not that worried. I'm relatively safe from artillery here. Enemy is there we go. Shot inside of that IS. Oh, he's come back up a bit. Please. Just a smidge. Assistance taking the 
base. I'm get around into a position where I can. Oh, he's gone. Can I find those guys? No, so you probably need to really go. I'm going to ignore the cat. I'm going to head around and try and get behind all those tickets over there. Before they're all killed. Looks like I've got myself on a pretty decent team here. As we're winning 8-2, it's certainly can't really say anything about my allies. Or 8-3, they've pulled one back. Still. Yeah, this match is pretty one-sided. I'm hoping there's something I have to shoot by the time I get up here. Ready to fire! Enemies hit! Running speed! Enemy vehicle destroyed! And I did just bounce an APCR shot from there. And a shot from an FCM 50 turn, which has a very good gun. So lucky that time, but show me a bit of what this tank can do. Shot went in the top, which is only 50 of millimeters of armor. But that's the tank's going to be facing up against that. So I'm hitting one for some turret from the mine. But only a few of them down here now, so I'm just try and get stuck in. Take out that one. This is going to have a very good reload. And this time can move forwards and backwards very quick, which does make it very useful at doing that. And that's it, we're done. That was a bit of a ruffle stomp, but a pretty decent match. Did over 2,000 damage there. So let's have a look at the results. Second class mastery. 2,100 damage, not the highest experience. But second highest damage of T71 drive did incredibly well. But yeah, came out with 13,000 credits. 12 shots fired, 9 hit, all 9 penetrated. And did over 2,000 damage. So, 1600 experience. That's not bad at all. Well, I hope that gave you a bit of an idea what this tank can do. As with previous videos, please just let me know what tank you would like to see me feature next, apart from the light tanks. I will do any tank apart from light tanks at the moment, that's just because I really suck in light tanks. But let me know what you think of the video what tank you'd like me to feature next and we'll see if we can get it on the channel hope you enjoyed the video today guys I will catch you next time take care playing whatever you're playing and see you soon